Behavior Health and Wellness Champion, the Grady ACT Team. The next award tonight goes to the ACT Team. ACT stands for Assertive Community Treatment, and the team I'm describing tonight is based at Grady Hospital. Let's watch the video as Brenda Newcomb, the Director of ACT's Psychiatry Program, and Michael Clay, the Executive Director of Behavioral Health, come forward to accept the award. It will present it after the video runs is Dr. Annette Mary Bernard, the FDHA Board Treasurer and Physician. Assertive Community Treatment is a very unique program that works very intensely in the community with severely mentally ill clients. The purpose of our program is to bring hospital services to the patient where they live. Some of these services include substance abuse counseling, vocational rehab services. Also, we have licensed clinical social workers. Our sort of community treatment teams consist of some of the finest doctors, nurses, um, clinicians, uh, peer specialists, vocational rehab um, counselors uh, that provide a team to serve these individuals to help them with their housing needs, to help them um, get on medication as necessary, to help them regain some of the areas that they've lost in their life related to mental illness. Fulton DeKalb Hospital Authority is um, very important to not only Grady Health System but our programs in general. Um, the advocacy and support that they provide is um, significant and really helps us to be able to continue to provide the services we do as a community hospital. Behavior Health and Wellness Champion, the Grady ACT Team. Thank you. Uh, it's presented in recognition of the ACT Team's exceptional work and commitment. I'm going to ad-lib something, which is we we're sitting at the table there and, and Brenda said, well, we're kind of a hospital without walls. And I thought that was a wonderful statement to, to say about what their work is. One of the things that we're trying to do with the authority in the last couple of years is we understand that a lot of people present to Grady Hospital who are ill, but what we're starting to worry about is what about all the folks who don't actually get to the hospital? So we're focusing a lot of our work on reaching out into the community and trying to keep people from that re revolving door. There's no better example for that type of work than the Grady Act team, and it's my pleasure to present this award to them. We are so fortunate to receive this award for the Grady Act teams. I'd like to introduce the managers of the three teams, Greg Sturkey, Camille Greer, and Paul Saros, who are all right here, who are um, day in and day out on the front lines managing those teams. And we're so fortunate to provide the services we do to a population of clients that would really fall through the cracks if we weren't there. So thank you so much. We can only do so also with the support of the Fulton the Cab Hospital Authority. Thank you. Thank you again. I'd like to, I'd like to thank uh, Chairman Dorch. And, uh, you know, um, it's hard to run a safety net hospital without addressing behavioral health. And it's just such an honor, not just to be recognized today, but to have uh, the Fulton Cab Hospital Authority select behavioral health as their topic for their symposium. It is so important to, uh, to Atlanta, and just like Atlanta can't live without Grady, uh, Grady can't live without behavioral health clinicians. And, uh, you know, one of the biggest uh, unkept secrets at Grady is that our department happens to be 240 um, uh, staff strong with one of the largest departments in the hospital and the hospital's invested a considerable amount in meeting the needs of individuals who have mental illness and uh, the ACT teams consist of about 50 of those staff and um, you probably will never recognize these folks again because they never wear suits, they're out under bridges and in shelters and uh, I didn't recognize them when I first saw them but they clean up pretty well so thank you very much.